Uh, okay, if you all listen up, I'll learn you something. Do you, do you, it's a question, do you know how many people, how many owners of these Maytag two-cylinder multi-motor gasoline wash machine engines, do you know how many people owns those and don't have a clue what that's down in that, in that hole right there? I'm going to show it to you. You take the, that's a crankcase off of a Model 72, and if you look down in there, this right here is what you'll see. When you look down in that hole, you you will see that screw right there. And what that is is the governor, governor assembly. And if you remember the other day, I was telling you something about something else, and I took this governor out, and I asked you, did you see the missing part? Watch this. Hey, it's, it's a test. Leave a comment down there if you see the missing part. It's already evident. This is this is the way I took it out of the engine. The missing part is this little collar right here should be right in there to hold that disc that's there consistent. But this is a governor from a Model 72, and it goes right down in that hole there, and it's got a slot sawed in it. It acts like a it actually acts like a lock nut. And the way that thing works is this cutaway that I have right here. Y'all see this cutaway? I actually made this just to show everyone. Leave the comment down there, and, and I'll cut a carburetor in two. But you see how this works? You see that goes up and down like under? And what this right here, this is cut out of a crankshaft. I put it in the lathe over there and turn this thing down, and you can see where the air-fuel mixture goes in that crankshaft. It comes through a hole this direction and comes out right down in the lobe there. Well, actually... What they did is they made that hole go all the way through that crankshaft right around to here. Y'all see that hole in that crankshaft right there? Okay, that's for lubrication. You should not be using them seals in the end of these crankshaft, guys. There's a reason not to use them. It only supposed to be an oil slinger out there. But anyways, the governor is what I'm talking about right now. And as you can see these examples that I laid out here for a show and tell, Right here, this selection, you see how that, y'all, do y'all, do y'all see how that spring is all askew on that one as is that one? There, it was, uh, you see how that is, it's completely ruined. But this, this, uh, this part, uh, right here by itself, this is a part number 14. 433 that's the governor valve keep that in mind and this is the collar right here that's a 14 435 the spring in the maytag book which is no benefit to you now the number is 14 434 and, and 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 this right here is the way you actually want them to work a real tight assembly like that and this cutaway one right here, the way that works at this gap right here, the further you turn this screw in is the further you move that gap down on that intake hole right there and that spring right there, it's a centrifugal force and it pulls that open and it closes that hole right there. And it's, it's all dependent on where you set this at and you cannot set this Unless you have or you are adjusting it for RPMs. You have to put a meter on the end of the crankshaft down there to know how many RPMs the engine is turning. And if it's too much, then you take that plug out, go in there, and if it's going too fast, you want to screw it down a little more. And that what that happens is it lets that fly down a little more and closes that some more. So this regulates the amount of air fuel intake. I'm not sure what the ratio is on this, but all of this in conjunction is the reason that you, you need to be using that 30 weight nun detergent, especially a mineral oil base. And this is a bottom and screw down here. And these screws has got a slot sawed in them and you crimp that together and when you put them on there, they'll lock. And that stops how far down it goes so that it can't shut the engine off completely. So that's just the way these works. I, I, if it's any 
comments are appreciated. It's a uh, Model 72 Governor Assembly. And it's so simple in its action. Uh, the the secret is all of this should be clean. That has to be completely free. Go to the trouble of getting you some unplated cotters, and which is I have right here. And the easiest way to put that thing together is you assemble it freely. And I'm using one of them springs that was askew. And if you have one like this, fix that. Cut cut that off and and turn that over and make another loop and hook that back. Don't go don't be using this. This was actually in an engine, and if that was in your engine, it was probably the reason it wasn't running right. So set that right, and then put your collar on there. Put your unplated cotter in there, the correct size, and then it's way too long. But you want to do that so that you can hold down on this and then spread these apart up here like this. And you spread one of them completely over and then snip it off. And do not snip it off too long that it'll stick outside your thread and ruin your thread on your crankshaft. Do it correctly. And you do one of them and then you come over and you do the other one and you have an assembled governor. You ain't you don't have two pairs of pliers trying to pull it apart. I'm just telling you it's a, it's a tip that I have used numerous times. Well, just a little afterthought something to kind of ponder on like a mind movie and you can see how this works I think as the engine is running it would be a smooth transition you know it would just it would be moving very slow as to the RPMs to how much this weight was uh, the centrifugal force through it in an outward arc is the way that works uh and it's it's oh it's it's uh, it's brilliant actually this right here is brilliant we, we didn't we actually did not need to go any further than this as far as speed control on a gasoline engine this this is this concept is brilliant just think about it and that's the way it works it just closes off the port completely at some point and then it would drop back as the RPM would let this go and it would open that up and you would receive a little gas fuel mixture and then when you shut the engine off then it would go back and open. it would be open the next time you tried to start it the very first few revelations that would be open as large as possible according to where your settings are at and it immediately would start closing down then it would so simple, so simple, brilliant comes to mind.